the direct bonding of lingual 2D brackets. This is a movie that describes an easy and simple method to directly bond 2D lingual brackets on the teeth of the lower arch. The material needed is the same as for labial bonding, with some minor modifications and according to the clinician preferences. Specifically, a regular tweezer probe scaler. The lingual spatula from for instance to open and close the wings of 2D lingual brackets. Intraoral mirror, self etching primer, the special bole gauge from Forestident to get precise height measurements, and cotton rolls. It is recommended to hold the bracket in the same tweezer that you use in labial bonding, but in this specific way to make it easier to introduce it in the mouth of the patient with minimum interferences with the upper jaw. We start first by cleaning and pumicing the lingual side of the teeth to be bonded. Then we apply etching gel of 37% phosphoric acid, according to Am et al. in 2008. The bond strength seemed to be higher when the enamel is prepared with acid etch before the use of self-etching primers. Cleaning of the acid etch thoroughly with water spray. Isolation with cotton rolls air drying of the surfaces to be bonded. With the gauge, we mark the height for each bracket. Lower cuspids at 4.5 or 5 mm according to the clinical crown size. And we can find this is 4 mm. Lower incisors at 4 or 4.5 mm. The lead must be edge to edge with the stainless prong and the graduation starts at 1 mm. Self etching primer application. Note here that this solution doesn't dilute and remove the marks of the pencil of the gauge. With a small amount of composite resin in the mesh of the bracket, we bond the first bracket. Adjusting its position with the scaler in an indirect view using a mirror. Light curing for 5 seconds. Twice occlusal and gingival with a lead unit. The first bracket in place. The same procedure and so on for the rest of the teeth. Special care must be done for the first bicuspid. The height of the bracket must be at the level of the labial part of the crestal edge. If the bracket is bigger than the lingual surface of the first bicuspid, the gap can be filled with composite. With a photocopy on an acetate paper of the lingual arch form template for residents, we can choose the specific arch form of the patient by superimposing it to the wire slot in the mouth of the patient. This is a shape 2 arch form. We choose a 0 0.010 shape 2 biolingual arch wire from Forestident. We cut the excess length. Marking the distal portion to be bent toward the teeth to avoid poking the tongue. Opening of the wings of the 2D lingual brackets with the lingual probe or spatula from Forestident.
Capping one prong of a wing guard plier to avoid instrument slipping and to protect the labial enamel during the wire insertion and bracket closing. Insertion of the wire in as much as possible of slots.